In this sum, length is 100, height is 50 and width is 50. So first, we will draw length, width and height. So first we will mark 100, 50, 50 and we will draw layout. After drawing this, you see there are how many parts in front view? Two parts, one and two. So this part one is this and part two is here. If I see this part two in top view, it's this part. It is this part. So what we need to do? First we need to draw part one which is full. So I will take 30 from here. Go down by 30 and extend. And you will take this 20. So we will get this part. Now in isometric, whatever is there in the front, the same thing is behind. So we will go behind by 50, 50 and we will join this. So we will get this part one. Now what we need to draw, we need to draw dovetail slot. If you see this slot in front view, this part, see this. So what we need to do, we need to draw it over here. Take 30, then go up by 10, from center you go up by 10, draw horizontal line, then you draw 45, 45 degree, then you join this. Extend this line and if you mark this, this is x, this is x. Now see this. What we need to do? If you see the main diagram in front view, this is 20. So we'll take 20 from here. Then they have given a gap of 30. So we'll keep a gap of 30 and we'll continue. Now they have given height 10. So I will take 10 from here and I will extend the line. I will take midpoint of this. See this is midpoint. So this is midpoint and I will draw vertical. After drawing that line, I will take distance x and I will cut it over here. I will take this distance x and we will cut it over here. See why I am doing this? Because if you see, we are already drawing at an angle. And those are angular dimensions. So we need to transfer linear distance. We can't transfer angular distance. So what we need to do? We need to draw this part next to our sum means again we need to draw it in orthographic find out the linear distance and we can transfer linear distance because it is already at an angle we can't draw angle and on that again we can't draw angle on both the sides because it won't come correct so what we are doing we are taking linear distance and we are cutting it over here so always remember whenever you have a inclined slot so that time you have to draw it outside, you need to find out distance x and you have to cut it over here. So we'll take distance x, we'll cut here, x, cut here and then join. So we got this slot. You can darken this part. So we are done with front view and there will be a line over here. But always remember you take this dimension up and then you have to transfer this x on both the sides remember to transfer this x like this like this now after this we need to see this part in top view semicircle that moment radius 15 so we need to draw rhombus 30 so what we will do first we will mark this point midpoint i will draw a line and then from here I will mark 15, 15, 15, 15 and I will draw rhombus. After that I will continue the same method, longest angle, then where angle is more than 90 from that point to the opposite midpoint we will draw a line. This is point 1. From point 1 we can draw this arc, see this from point 1 we can draw this arc and this is your point 2, from there you can draw this arc, see this to this, you can draw this arc, from here to here, after that you plot this point down, you project this point down, now see this, when you see top view, you will realize this circle is through and through. How much it is going down? 50. So what we need to do? From this point 1, we need to go down by 50. 
will mark that point as 1 dash. How much you have to go down? 50. Why 50? Because height is 50. So we'll take this radius. Again we'll go down by 50 and we'll draw this radius. See there is a possibility that you can take this point 2 also down by 50. That is 2 dash and you can check. Slide. So this is our bottom circle. Now after this we can darken this portion. Now we have to draw this slope. If you see in front view part 2, see this part 2. In top view they have given over here. So how much it is behind? 20. 20. So what we need to do? We need to go behind by 20. From here also go behind by 20 and join this. Then again they have given 10. So again you can take 10, 10 and you can join. After that you join this part. You draw a line because why we are drawing this line? Because whatever is there in the front, the same thing is behind. Now if you see this is part one. What we have drawn, see this, and this is part two, which is behind. How much it is behind? 20, 20 on both the sides. Then again you take 10 from here, 10 from here, and join. So this is what you got is second part.